Hello everyone and welcome back to Knaves World Farm. So we're just finishing off spraying for number 9. I've done most of it off camera because I knew that a lot of people wouldn't want to see spraying again because we do it quite often. Uh, but yeah, that's not the job for today. I've just finished doing that. What we're going to do is just go over to the BGA. We've got about two bucket loads left of silage to sell. As you can see, the money is much higher than it used to be because we've sold most of it. Everything which is at our yard here, we still have, and we will remain to keep that because we need that for our livestock, for the total mix ration. But everything which is at the BJ uh, has been sold. So uh, yes, that is uh, definitely a big step in the right direction for us because we need to use that money now to buy some essential equipment and also some livestock, primarily the cows. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just drop this tractor off here because we don't need it again today. Um, I'm gonna to be very careful when I say that because usually when I say that, we do need it again. But yes, that can stay there. We're now gonna go over to the BGA and jump into our rented JCB. Here we are. And I've got some in the bucket. There is, I think, enough there for a bucket and a half left. So we're pretty much done here. It's taken me about 20 minutes to do this. Uh, this was rented for two hours. So it's just a bit of uh, finishing up work, really. I don't usually use the high tip function because it's not programmed into my Satec side panel. I tend to just, you know, tip as it is. Um, I actually find it easier in some cases, but with the really small lever wheel loaders, you definitely have to use high tip because it just can't reach into here. Right, I think that is pretty much it. There should be a tiny bit left. I'm surprised they didn't all fit in, really. There we go. That should have done it. Totally empty. So it looks like it's going to be roughly £300,000 worth. What is at the yard will be used, as I say, for our own use, um, but some of it will be sold eventually because we're not we're not going to need it all. The animals are not going to require that much silage, so that is it for the wheel loader. I think I probably overestimated the rent time, so we will return this. Uh, I doubt we'll have used much diesel. It really won't be that much. So let's hope for the best that the diesel fees are relatively low. It's nothing in fact, fantastic. So, with that out of the way, we can now buy a telehandler. Now I've, I've given this quite a lot of thought, and obviously there is the standard Lieber TL4367, and yes, it's, it's overused basically. We're not gonna go for it because it's just on the multiplayer server and everywhere else, and it's basically just the vanilla uh, machine which you get in the base game. So, we're gonna go for something different. But it's not gonna be too different. We've got a few things here. Massey Ferguson we're using on Thornton Farm. The Merlot we were using on Sandy Bay. The JCB, I love the mod, but I don't think it's right for this map. So we're gonna go for the New Holland, which I know a few of you might be a bit upset about, uh, and it's also the most expensive, but I have a reason behind this. I've not just, you know, just thought of this, oh, I wanna use a New Holland. Uh, the reason for it is I find the bale handling with this a lot easier, even with the uh, standard equipment, you know, the, uh, the bell spike on here, because I still want to use this. I know that a lot of people say, why are, you the only, why are you the only YouTuber who uses the standard bell spike? Well, to be fair, I've never used another one. <laughs> so uh, I, I guess until I, uh, I stop being so stubborn, I'm not going to find out which is better. But with this New Holland, I do find this very easy to use. That will probably backfire on me in a few minutes, but I'm going to use it for this episode at least uh, because I, I do like it. I genuinely do like the standard bail spike, but only on the New Holland LM74Z or 2. Not sure. Uh, so that is the first thing we've bought. Already we've uh, used over £100,000. The second thing we're going to buy is something that looks quite unique to me. And I have seen this before. Uh, this is a... Oh, I need to find it first of all. I've never used it. I've seen it before though. Okay, here it is. Obviously being blind there. But it is the Vertex Designs X-T2. And I have seen this. It came out a few months ago. 
and it was very fascinating when I first saw it. It's probably totally too big for this map, but I still want to give it a go. Uh, so we are going to give it a go. It's essentially a round bale carrier, but it's designed in such a way that it allows the ba round bales to hold on properly instead of just sort of flying off, which is obviously very frustrating if you've ever done round bales in Farming Simulator before, which you most likely will have done. So we're going to use the fent to pull this. Let's just um, sort out the beacons again. They always fold down. And let's get it attached. Oh, steering wheel as well. Yeah, the IC always resets to its starting off position. It's actually not quite as big as I expected. I thought it would be bigger. But that is a good thing because I thought it would be too big for the map. And in the end it's going to look like it's about right really. So all I have to do now is try and manoeuvre this around the yard, which is going to be the difficult part. Let's see if I can reverse it around the corner. I always find these things challenging. I think they're probably real easier in real life. I have been told, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm guessing they are easier to reverse in real life. Okay, that is kind of okay. It should pull itself around without crashing. So, let's head over to our first field, which is going to be the straw field, which is field number 20. That is the one we did. Yes, hopefully that won't crash. It's got quite a, a corner to turn here, so it will be a bit challenging. Most likely going to have to sort that out in a minute. Let's just check. If that does that, um, I'll give the driver a virtual pint. Okay, that, that saves me a bit of cash. And we're off. Hopefully it will manage to get there in one piece. So it's basically the furthest field we can go on this road, I think. Uh, with the exception of a, a couple of grass fields around the back. Uh, we've only got, I, I think it's about eight, so it's not too many at all. And if we've got space, we can then put the hay bales on the same trailer at the same time and bring a whole trailer load back in one go. This all depends on how good my stacking is, but I've got confidence because we're using the New Holland with this bale spike. And I have to say, from past experience, it has been a good setup. If you remember my Colby Park farm series, I did the same thing on there with this New Holland and it was actually really easy uh, but I might have got worse since then here we are yep no way is this going to fit through here without a bit of maneuvering it is yeah it's slightly too big but really want to give it a go So I'm not sure if there's any controls for this or if it is just literally a solid frame which has got no functionality at all. I wouldn't have thought it does do because it looks like just a solid frame. Uh, you basically just load it up and then unload it manually. There's nothing too fancy about it. The mod itself is obviously great. So when this is all cleared we're going to have to spray this with herbicide. I think herbicide double C again will be quite a good one to go for unless I put potatoes in here. I might do, but we'll have to see. Right, we'll turn the tractor's engine off because it's going to be a while, I should think, with all the messing about, but hopefully this is going to go okay. I'm not sure if it's kitted out to allow you to put two bells on in one go, we'll have to see. Uh, but this is the rogue one, this is out of the way completely. So we'll just sort this one out first of all, and then we can go from there. Um, yeah, I think probably this lower deck, if you can call it that, is the best place to start. If and when this is fully loaded, it should look fantastic. And it might be one of those trailers which is easy to do from in cab. Okay, this is just my, my beginning one. Hopefully this is going to be the worst of them all. We'll have to see. Yeah, missed that on the camera, but it did actually roll into the slot very well. Uh, I think it will actually allow you to do two in one go. So I'm going to do that. But it all comes down to the lining up of the spikes. So you've got to get this right, which is the, the difficult part. Unless you do this for a job, then it'll probably be very easy for you. 
And to save me messing this up, I'm going to do it from out of cab view. Hopefully, that is going to be okay. We will have to see. The spacing actually looks really good. I think it might be okay. As long as I don't crash into the trailer too much. Come on, if I can pull out of there... Oh, that's not good. If I can get out that perfectly aligned. I mean, look at that. You can see they are in. It's just... Well, I've picked the telehandler up to begin with. Uh, it's just practice. It's all practice. Almost. That's pretty good. The mod certainly helps. There we go. They are all in position. And I'm sure any which aren't will just sort of bounce into position when it's on the road. This should... And I still say this, this should work very well. I am holding out confidence. I really don't know what it is about this loader, but for some reason it is easier, in my opinion, than all the others. I don't know what it is. Come on, roll in. Oh, it's good enough. And the next one... I probably won't do all this on screen because I can imagine it's not the best thing to watch uh, but at least I'm giving it a go that one has actually gone in we have got two together see if that makes things easier So I need two more for the middle, and then we can pile them on the back. Uh, I'm not sure the capacity of this. We might actually have to go back to the yard after this one, before we can get the hay bales. I thought we'd get them all on, but it's not actually as big as I thought. Right, these are the escaped bales. These have all run away. So we're going to have to be uh, a bit more careful here. One thing I have noticed which does make it harder is the angle you put them on the spikes at which seems obvious but the level as well is very important it could have gone worse but it also could have gone a lot better okay quite happy with that i think there's one more maybe two Yeah, there's this one and the one which has escaped over there. Just looking at that, has that gone through the barbed wire? Is it on our side? Yeah, I think it's half and half. They're sharing the bale. Yeah, there's no collision on that barbed wire, I don't think. And I think that is the whole field. Yep. Unless... Oh, there might be still another one over there. Another escaped one. Let's see if I can get this one here this time. Look at that. Rolling straight into position. Well designed, you see. Now it turned out to be a pile of straw. So that was a waste of time. So that is everything. We need to just make sure everything is on there as good as it can be. Clearly the two top ones aren't. So I'll just mess around with that for a few minutes and see if I can sort it out a bit. Uh, but yeah, the next time you see this, it should be pretty much perfect, hopefully. The problem with the spikes is it can tend to grab, and it sort of does the opposite effect, it makes it worse. One more, and then I think that will be all of them in position as good as they can be. There we go. So on the back there, you can actually get a lot more. So I, I could technically pack a load more hay bales onto the back um, basically they sit on top of each other in these grooves uh, but I don't want to really mix the bales so that probably won't be the best of ideas so I think the best thing to do 
is to take this back to the yard, find a good place to store them, which is going to be the difficult part, and then come back for the hay bales. So, yeah, fantastic mod in my opinion. We'll have the New Holland telehandler following us because, you know, I don't want these bales flying across the map after all that hard work. That would be such a waste. Uh, I think we can get it out of this gate without crashing too much, I'm hoping. Uh, we just have to give it a go. It's all to do with the angle. If we come in at a, a strange angle, it should, it should fit through the gate. It's got fantastic steering on the front. Okay, so which is the best place for them? Possibly near where the Dominator is, uh, unless there is a dedicated straw storage point. Ah, this looks quite good. As long as this isn't the cell point, that is the place where I get mixed up. I dump all my bales in the cell point by accident, thinking it's the storage point, and it isn't. So, you've got to be careful. But that probably would work if the drill wasn't in there. So I'll move the drill out of the way and just really hope for the best that that isn't the cell point. We'll only put one in there at a time, or maybe two. So if it was to sell, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Pretty sure it isn't the cell point though. It's usually more obvious. Okay, it can go back in there afterwards. I think the best thing to do is sort of pull up over there with the fence. And that should be okay. And let's just try it out. I hope for the best. It is a bit tight, but it could be worse. Right, get ready to see the amazing bail stacking. Obviously I'm being uh, sarcastic there. Uh, the best thing to do is probably to put it against the wall, because then it can't roll as far. So they're not selling. The the biggest problem is the lack of space. There isn't that much space at all. If I can get a good layer at the bottom, it should allow me to get a, a better layer at the top because it's not going to fall over as easily. The question is, will these fit in there? I think they will if they sort of squeeze together. There we go. Yes, uh, it's not good at all. But it's, it's a storage point. They're in the dry. That's the main thing. Okay, so that is one layer done. We've just got a few left. Going to spin around here, and then we'll unload the other, other four. We've got two bottom layers, one in front of the other, uh, so I can start to build up above, and this is probably going to be actually the extent of our straw bales because we don't need that many as you can see it's my usual standard it's just like dumping a load of straw bales in a stack in a heap uh, I, I've never been good at it I have to say that's why I tend to use an auto stacker 
Uh, but it's worth another go. Especially now we've got the XT2. I think this one can go on the floor. And the final one. They've actually sort of shuffled themselves a bit. And the bottom layer doesn't look too bad now. But the top layer, still terrible. And uh, increasingly getting worse. So that, thankfully, is the straw bales done. We can now move on to the hay bales. Hooray! So obviously, once again, the hay bales are down here. Down the track, which likes to make things jump up in the air. So, uh, yeah, I, I am a bit concerned, I have to say. So I've just thought of an idea. There is another gate here which I hadn't even noticed before, um, which actually comes in at a much better angle. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a better swing and we won't be knocking the bells off so much. To be honest, I can't even get through the other gate. It, it's that bad. It, that's how tight it is. So this is actually much easier. All I have to do is position this in a good spot and we'll be able to load this up. There isn't as many hay bales as there was straw, straw bales, so that is a good thing, obviously. Uh, so all I can do really is try my best once again. So we did have a rogue silage bale, which I've just picked up. And it turns out that the silage bales are very easy to pick up with a spike. Obviously not supposed to, unless you're selling them straight away. Um, but yeah, the, the fact with them is that you can pick them up with the centre spike. And it makes the two side ones fairly invisible. Whereas if you try and pick up the hay bales with the centre spike, it just, you know, it doesn't work. It basically, it's like hitting a, a brick wall. So if these hay bales were like that, like, I don't know how well it would work. Yeah, you see like that, it just pushes it. Uh, then it would be a lot easier. I'm going to do them in pairs again. And the final two. There really wasn't that many from this field. And one of them was a signage bell anyway. If I can make the last two go on properly, it'd be really good. Oh, that was... It was close. It wasn't great. Because this one needs padding down a bit. But it, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I think I might just leave it. Because I'd probably do more harm than good. Anyway, uh, yeah, that seems to be the whole field. There are six. So, yes, let's, let's attempt to head back. Uh, I think I'll turn this off here, actually. We're going to have to take this on our own. And hope for the best. It's, it's that track, really. The track is very bumpy. I'll have to do all of this from the out of cab view because I worry I'm going to just sort of forget they're there which is hard to do but you know I need to be able to see them I think if I if I put diff lock on it seems unusual to do that but as it gets stuck so easily we need a bit of traction So far, so good until it jumps up in the air. Hmm. Going better than I thought. Switch that off again. And getting around this corner is a pain. And also very difficult. And we are free. We only lost one. That's picked up with the telehandler. 
Uh, so yeah, I think the same shed again. It's really not easy with the space here, uh, but we'll get the one off first of all, and then we'll clear the rest. So yeah, it is obviously too big for the map, uh, but yeah, it does a very good job when it's actually uh, not stuck. It would probably fit very well on Thornton Farm. So I'm going to stack these here, I think. So whether or not I use this again on this map, I'll have to decide. But I'll certainly be using it again at some point on one of the maps. Um, yeah, so if, if anything, uh, please do look at this video as like a, a mod spotlight for the trailer. It is a very good trailer, has to be said. But it just needs to have a bit of space to get around the corners. The silage bale which we got, I think we'll just sell straight away. So uh, I might as well just put it in here for now, but it's not going to be used, I doubt. We'll be using the silage from the pit. And there we go. So, what do you think of the bales? Um, that's probably quite a risky question to ask, but I think overall the hay bales were a disaster, surprisingly, because I thought they'd be better, and the straw bales were okay. That's what I'm going to say. Please do let me know your opinion, unless it's rude, then um, yes, it will, be, it will be censored, so uh, you, you can let me know that you're... Uh, your rude opinion if you really want to but I recommend not doing it uh, so there we go fantastic trailer download link is below and yep that is it for today so thank you for watching I think tomorrow we'll be doing some work on the cows and until then hope to see you again soon bye for now